Thomas Pannone got the W last night, and of course he pitched another gym, so your prize is you get to have an interview. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me. Your start last night was delayed due to rain. Yep. How do you stay both physically and mentally ready to play while playing that waiting game? Yeah, I mean, it was, it was definitely tough to go through that whole stretch of sitting around and uh, I mean, wondering if, if we were going to play, but uh, I mean, just stayed locked in mentally. I just wanted to I mean, kind of stay in my own zone and, and just in case we did play, which we did, so I'm happy we got it in. Yeah, field drained perfectly, and the late start seemed to have no effect on you at all. You went seven innings, gave up no runs, yeah. only allowed three hits, no walks, and eight strikeouts. Just another day on the mound for you. So, did you feel as locked in and unstoppable as you looked out there? I did. I, I, I really felt great last night. Um, just with my three pitch mix, I was I was really mixing it up well and just attacking the zone and throwing strikes, getting ahead of guys, and I mean it resulted in that. So and you pitched really good last year, but you're just lights out this season. What did you work on in the off season that has made you the pitcher you are right now? Just getting completely comfortable in my delivery, and I mean obviously just expanding my my pitches and, and making them mine and, and throwing them for strikes. Especially last night, I, I did it a lot. Uh, through, through my all speed late in counts and, and when I was behind in counts, so that's what I work on. And you've been with your pitching coach Rico Beltran for a while now. Yeah. How important is he to you? Yeah, he is. He's very important to me. I mean, just, just what we do every single day. I mean, whether if we're having a conversation like last night talking about pitch sequences or, or middle of a bullpen, he's just breaking down something with me. Yeah, he's been a big help. So. He told me yesterday that he likes the stationary games. He doesn't yeah. have to do the mound visits. Yeah, so I yeah, think I like, those, a lot I like those too. Gave him a little rest. <laughs> Yeah. Now let's talk about the guys behind you. They showed yeah. up defensively and offensively yeah. in that 5 nothing win. How easy do they make your job when they play like they did last night? Real easy. I mean, Martin caught a great game, called a great mm -hmm. game. I mean, just every everything everything that went on last night from the routine plays to the hard plays. And it was, it was really good. I'm sure you feel very comfortable with Martin and uh, Salter yeah, back and forth. I do, yeah. Good I mean, either one, either one of them. I mean, Martin's called me the past couple of years, whether it was in Lake County or here. and. I mean, I'm, I'm new with Salty, but I mean, we, we got on a, a good page pretty fast, so. Let me read you some headlines. I Googled you today. Yeah. Pannone threw another masterpiece. Yeah. Dazzles <laughs> as the Hillcats shut out the dash. Impressive yeah. again, flirts yeah. with perfection. Yeah. Do you block these things out? Yeah, I, I, I try not to read them all. I try to, I mean, my mom is, is, is huge on, on reading them, and, and she loves it, but uh, um, I mean, I, I, I try to not believe it, I just kind of want to stay locked in on everything that I'm doing and, and not not worry so much about the outside stuff. You know? Is blocking it out a skill that you have to learn or are you naturally, that's how you do it, you just do um, what you do on the mound? No, I, I, I don't think it's something I've learned. I think it's kind of just something that I'm, I'm good at. I, I, I think so, yeah. These are definitely headlines yeah. that a mom would love to read. Yeah, yeah. Great headlines. So you've been a jam on the mound and with us today. We thank you so much for that. And if you guys want to learn more about the specifics of his hot start, head on over to lynchburg-hillcats.com and read that May 1st postgame article and just be impressed. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.